In this video, we will try to solve a question on constrained optimization. The question is the utility function that is u of x, y is equal to minimum of x plus 2y comma 2x plus y where x and y are greater or equal to 0 is to be maximized subject to the budget constraint. That is we have to maximize this very uh, utility function and we are given the budget constraint that is x times the price of x plus y times the price of y is less or equal to 100 where px and py are the unit price of good x and y respectively. If optimal choices that is optimal choice is given as uh, x star is equal to 5 y star is equal to 6 then we have to select one of the correct options that is a is equal to price of x is equal to price of y b option is price of x is equal to twice the price of y c option is price of x is one half the price of y and d option is price of x is one third of the price of good y so we will see uh, what uh, would be the correct option in this case okay so first of all as we can see here uh, we are given the optimal choices here and if you can remember how do we solve the leg ranges function we have to form the leg ranges function in this case uh, obviously but how do we form a leg ranges function so i will just recapitulate if we are uh, given a utility function let us say f of x y is a utility function and we are given the budget constraint let us say this is g of uh, x and y let us say x prime and y prime is equal to m so first we form the leg ranges function how do we form the leg ranges function we just manipulate this very uh, this is the constraint function this is the objective function so i am just first uh, recapitulating how do we solve this question so we will uh, come to this question later okay if this is the objective function this is the leg ranges uh, sorry uh, this is the constraint so first of all we solve it for the constraint so what we do first step is we set this constraint equal to zero that is m minus g of x prime let us say any variable we have here is equal to zero this is the budget function okay after that what we do we form the we multiply this uh, uh, this constraint by lambda and our leg ranges function becomes something like this uh, we uh, write this utility function or objective function that is f of x y and we add this very uh, resulting constraint function that is lambda uh, times m minus g of x prime y prime okay after that what do we do we partially differentiate this very function with respect to uh, x with respect to y and uh, with respect to lambda and solve them for the optimal values okay when we partially differentiate this we will get the optimal values of x and y and lambda okay when we solve these two these three equations we get the optimal values after that what we do to find the optimal value of this very function we just put uh, the value of these uh, x and y which are the optimal values back on back into the objective function to get the optimal solution okay now in this question we are given the optimal value that is x prime uh, x star is equal to 5 y star is equal to 6 okay first of all we will see which of these uh, expressions we have to maximize for that we will just plug the optimal values into uh, into this objective function to see which of these uh, expressions we have to maximize it so we will find the minimum of these two expressions uh, expressions by substituting the value of x and y which is 5 and 6 respectively so first of all we will see minimum of uh, x plus 2y and uh, 2x plus y what is the minimum value and we are given the optimal values of x prime or x star is equal to 5 and y star is equal to 6 so minimum of these two would be we just plug the value of x and y in this expressions so this is uh, for you 
in place of x we write for you for you plus uh, 2 times y that is 2 into 6 2 into 6 is similarly we have 2 into 5 here 2 into 5 plus the value of uh, y which is 6 okay now what would be the minimum of these two this is a uh, 2 6 is a 12 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 and here we have 2 5 is a 10 plus 6 is equal to 16 so this means uh, when we inserted uh, the optimal uh, choices which is given in the question <coughs> this very uh, this very expression this very expression is the minimum of these two okay so i will repeat here what i have done here i just uh, i just plugged the value of x is equal to 5 y is equal to 6 in this expression to find the minimum of these two expressions and the minimum of these two expressions comes out to be 16 and 16 is this very expression that means our question is uh, we have to maximize this very expression that is minimum of these two expressions since minimum of these two expressions we have calculated is in the last one expression okay so that means our uh, question reduces to so i will just rub here so i will rub here let me rub this so i just plugged uh, the values of optimal values so i will uh, write the question again our question would be then we have to maximize uh, this very expression that is 2x plus y subject to the budget constraint our budget constraint is uh, x times price of x plus y times the price of y uh, in place of this inequality we write equality okay uh, to solve for the optimization okay so our question reduces to this one uh, this reduced because we took the optimal values of x and y and plugged uh, in this uh, in these two expressions and from that we have to find the minimum and minimum comes from this very expression so that means we have to maximize uh, this very expression subject to the budget constraint okay so i will just rub this so this is our question so how do we solve this first of all this is our so i will uh, write it again we have to maximize maximize 2x plus y subject to the constraint that is x times price of x plus y times price of y is equal to 100 this is called the objective function and this is constraint part okay how do we solve this first step is we set this we set this constraint function equal to zero that means this will become 100 minus x times price of x plus y times price of y is equal to zero this is the first step okay second step is to multiply this by lambda so we multiply this by lambda this becomes lambda times 100 minus x p of x plus y p of y okay after that we form the Lagrange's function Lagrange's function is formed by we we take this objective function and add the resulting constraint which is formed by adding uh, uh, rather uh, multiplying the lambda so uh, the Lagrange's function is our objective function plus this very uh, this very uh, constraint okay so this is 2x plus y uh, plus lambda and we have 100 minus x price of x plus y sorry it is here minus mm, i forgot so this is minus here y times price of y okay this is our Lagrange's function after that we take partial derivatives of this Lagrange's function with respect to x y and lambda that is i can write it uh, like this this is the function of x y and lambda also we can write it is uh, right in this way also 
lambda okay is equal to so first we partially differentiate with respect to x that means uh, here the derivative of x is 1 so we get 2 here and the derivative of x is 1 so this is lambda into minus p of x this becomes minus p of x and set it equal to 0 similarly partially differentiating this with respect to y which would be equal to the derivative of y here is 1 <coughs> sorry here the derivative of y is 1 so this is lambda times minus 1 times py so this becomes minus lambda py here we have the lambda px obviously and set it equal to 0 and after that we uh, we multiply rather we de partially differentiate with respect to lambda so this will become the derivative of lambda is 1 so we will get 100 minus x times price of x sorry for these errors minus y times price of y and set it also equal to 0 okay so after that what we do this is our equation first this is equation second this is equation third okay so we divide equation first or we can write this uh, these two these three equations can be written as that is this equation can be written so i will rub here again which implies here uh, 2 is equal to lambda px and 1 is equal to lambda py so we have these two this is equation first this is equation second okay so what we do we divide equation first by equation second here we get we get that is a 2 divided by 1 would be equal to lambda price of x divided by lambda price of y this lambda and lambda gets cancelled we get uh, 1 into price of x is equal to price of x is equal to twice price of y so this is the relationship between the price of x and y that is price of x is 2 times the price of y so i think the correct option should be this price of x is equal to twice the price of y and we can also verify uh, this very equation uh, if we put the value of uh, price of x is equal to 2 times price of y in this equation so this will become when inserting the price of x price of x is equal to 2 times price of y this will become this will become 100 minus uh, x times the price of x is given as twice price of y minus y times price of y is equal to 0 and when solving this will come out to be price of y price of y this will become 100 is equal to uh, twice x p y uh, plus y p y or 100 is equal to price of y so we have calculated here and i am just trying to uh, tell you uh, we can verify the answer like this so taking price of y price of y common we get 2x plus y or we can write price of y is equal to 100 divided by 2x plus y okay this is the price of x similarly we can find the price of sorry this is the price of x similarly we can find uh, the price of x here so we just put price of uh, y is equal to this very uh, expression in this equation uh, back again and when we when we solve this will be uh, this will come out to be so i will write here so i will write here this will come out to be uh, price of x would be equal to 100 divided by x minus 100 y divided by x 2x uh, plus 5 i have calculated this because of the lack of the space i would not be able to show you all the steps and after that <coughs> if we put on the value of uh, x is equal to 5 u y is equal to 6 in these equations we will get the price of x is price of x uh, is 12.5 u and price of y is equal to 6.25 which means uh, price 
of uh, I will write here price of X is equal to two times the price of Y okay I hope I make myself clear so I will repeat here we were given the utility function rather two uh, utility functions and we have to find the minimum of these two utility functions and after that we have to maximize the minimum of these two utility functions okay since we were given the optimal values of x and y so um, we just plugged the value of x is equal to 5 y is equal to 6 in this in these two expressions to see which of these uh, two expressions becomes minimum and when we put on uh, the x is equal to 5 y is equal to 6 we got that this very expression gives us uh, the minimum value okay after that uh, we have to maximize maximize this very expression and not this one okay since we have to find the minimum of these two and after that we have to maximize the minimum so minimum was this very one and after that it was a simple like multiplier method